So I'm doing this video really just as a means to show off a new old code book that I got that I'm very excited. It's taken years to actually find one of these. Um, so with that, we've got two pretty prominent major code development uh, organizations in our country right now. We've got the International Code Council. They publish your 2018 IBC. And then you've got, of course, the long, long-lasting uh, NFPA organization, and they publish uh, NFPA 101 Life Safety Code. This is my most current edition of that code. And they also publish a document called the NFPA 5000, which is a building and construction code. And I'll be honest, hopefully somebody out there can help me learn more about the difference between 101 and 5000. I am not an NFPA guy myself, uh, but still would love to learn that. But anyway, here we are today. We've got NFPA 101, we've got IBC, we've also got NFPA 5000. But go back in history a little bit, and prior to this, you had the Life Safety Code looked a little more like this. This is the first edition of the NFPA 101 Life Safety Code, uh, but there's more we'll talk about here. Then you've also got the Uniform Building Code. This was a predecessor to the, uh, I, the IBC and the International Code Council, but don't forget the friends that came along with that. You had the Southern Building Code from the SBCCI, and then you had BOCA, Basic Building Code. Here's my 1970. They took care of basically the northeast part of the country. And then folks always forget about the fourth vintage code player in the ICC kind of development world, and that was from the American insurance association that was formerly the national board of fire underwriters and they also had a building code they were involved uh, with developing the cable one and two family dwelling code so those folks were also involved but then let's go back a little further in time here and this is where i get kind of excited about my new find first if i come into this guy and we come into the preface here we can read in this little spot where it talks about the building exits code. Let me bring it in here. There we go. Um, and so prior to being called the life safety code in NFPA 101, if this focuses in, you can see right here where it talks about it was called the building exit code. And that was published and developed by the Fire Protection Association in 1927. Hmm. So the first building exits code by NFPA, pretty major competitor, if you will. I hate to say it that way, but basically a competitor with ICC. Uh, their first book was 1927. So let's remember that date and set this aside. And I'll show you the new, very exciting book I received that I finally was able to find, my very own copy of the Building Exits Code. Now, this isn't the original 1927 one. Uh, this one is a, let's see what it says here, 1948, right there, 1948. So this came first, and then you had NFPA life safety code on top of that, and then of course got to a bigger version here, and now you've got the NFPA 5000 as well. But 1927, right? 1927 NFPA develops the first building exit code. Well, let's go back in time from the uniform building code, and we can go back to the first published uniform building code, and this was before it was ICBO. This was back when it was the Pacific Coast Building Officials Conference. And notice, look, 1927 as well. So both ICBO, or Pacific Coast Building Officials Organization, and NFPA both premiered their first code books, not coming from an insurance association. National Board of Fire underwriters were the first to create a model code. But they both came out in the same year, 1927. Now, I'm not going to dig into this one to show you because it's a very fragile and very, very rare book. I'm going to show you um, from the reprint version of this and something else I find curious just about this, um, you know, competitiveness or um, just two organizations trying to create model codes. And still today, they are battling out to be the leading model code developer. Um, if you look in the preface of the 1927 UBC, you'll see here lots of thanking. Appreciation is given by the conference uh, for the assistance of all these individuals. And here it lists all these organizations, including the National Board of Fire Underwriters. What organization was not listed and apparently not involved with assisting the 1927 UBC? Well, you probably guessed it. The NFPA was not a part of that 
because they were developing their own. So there's the end of that. Get to show you my new, my new building exits code. And we get to discover a little interesting facts here that the, um, this of ICC and NFPA goes all the way back almost 100 years to their both first codes, same year, 1927. Hope you enjoyed. Leave some comments in, in, in the uh, comment field. Let's talk about this. I'd love to hear your knowledge. We are losing the knowledge uh, in the history of these codes from people that are passing, that were here during these times or later. Uh, please keep that knowledge alive. Share with the internet community what you may know about the history of all these books that are all part in getting us to where we are today. There you go.